Hey guys, uh, Randy here, and welcome aboard the CB Traveler Channel. I hope you're doing well. I am. I'm excited to get out. I uh, wasn't able to get out last weekend because I have a lot of work to catch up on. So I stayed at home. I was a good boy. And did my work. But I'm super excited because uh, in the desert, it's uh, March, and you know what that means. Usually, it's a... Uh, the spring bloom in the lower parts, the southern parts of Arizona. So today we're going to go to uh, Peridot Mesa. It's The weather's really bad right now, as you can see, really windy. But tomorrow's supposed to be a lot better. So I'm going to go uh, camp someplace else. It's kind of close by. And then I wanted to come back tomorrow when the weather's a lot better. But I just wanted to stop by today and see if there's any color up here. And uh, I'm going to go camp tonight somewhere else so yeah wow just look how you see how how windy it is but it is beautiful and this is Peridot Mesa uh, I found out about this place last year and uh, there's a couple nice places especially in the, the southern Arizona to go look at spring bloom uh, you have sometimes state Lost Dutchman State Park, you have um, Picacho Peak, and Oatman, and this is another really nice place. So yeah, um, you can see these people are having to hold on to their hats. But yeah, last year, uh, 2023 was a super bloom, and this place was gorgeous. So I wanted to see what it was like up here this year, and uh, yeah, let me... Uh, I'm going to get parked and I'm going to attempt to take a step outside. Hi <laughs> guys. Hi guys. Nothing to see here. <laughs> All right. And you can see a car off in the distance too coming back up. But yeah, this is going to be fun. Wow, it is windy out here. But yeah, it looks like there's color. That's the actual Mesa. Tomorrow we'll drive down there. But it does look like there's color, and I've seen about as much as I needed to see. The flowers are closed up a little because of the weather, so it should be better tomorrow. I'm going to get back in the truck. <laughs> I can hear myself. This is bad. Wow, it's windy. It's supposed to clear up. Hopefully this goes away because I want to fly my drone a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, I came by earlier and got my permit yeah look at that yeah there it's it's late in the afternoon and they're close the flowers are closed up a little bit but yesterday i uh i came through here and i i picked up my permit to camp one night and two days of recreational use um, it is on the san carlos apache reservation so to hike to, to go out onto the Mesa or to do any hiking really on the reservation, you need to go get your permits. And uh, you can get them online or uh, you can come in to the, uh, the San Carlos Recreation and Wildlife Center in, right in Peridot. And I think it was right around $20, which is still pretty cheap. I got two days and then I can camp. One thing they did tell me though, when you're camping out here, is, is not to camp within a quarter mile of a water hole. Uh, that was to, to keep, so that way the wildlife uh, still will be able to make it down to the water. And if you camp right next to the water, it might uh, inhibit them from getting to the water. But I'm not gonna be near a water hole. Well, I'm gonna be near a huge water hole, <laughs> I guess, uh, San Carlos Reservoir. San Carlos Lake, and I'm hoping to camp up near Coolidge Dam. It is a really cool dam to check out. It's not it's not the size of Roosevelt Dam or or any of those other big ones like that, but it it to me it has a lot of character just because of, of when it was built. Uh, and it it's big enough. It holds a lot of water. Really, I think it's like. Uh, 
19,000 to 20,000 acres is what it covers. And there's a there's pretty good fishing too. That the types of fish they have here are the you, you can get rainbow trout, smallmouth bass. And there's catfish. There's bluegill, sunfish, and all sorts of fishing up here. But you do, it is on the reservation, so you, again, you're going to have to get a permit to do that kind of stuff. But, wow, looks like there's quite a bit of water. It's not real low. You can see it's not as low as it has been before, but it's looking pretty good. And also, it looks like the weather is... Uh, breaking up a little bit I noticed it's not quite as windy as it was up on the Mesa so hopefully I'll still get to fly my drone once I get up to the dam I was kind of wanting to fly it up there so we're, we're getting closer but just up here on the left yeah it's right here uh, we'll come back to this but you can drive down there and uh, get a little bit closer to the lake I'm pretty sure it's just day use only and uh, the boat ramp. There's a boat ramp down there too. But just up here I wanted to show you is the, the tackle shop. I've never been in there. It looks pretty big and I noticed they even have a, a drive through Right there that window right ahead of us is a drive through window. But <laughs> I don't know what they have to offer. Maybe it's just uh, just fishing gear and supplies camping supplies but i just wanted to do a quick little trip there to show you but we've got a little bit of time and i just wanted to drive down here check out the boat ramp see what it's like and show you some of the day use area as well now this to the dam from the dam to peridot mesa is about a half an hour pretty close to that if I had to guess depending on how fast uh, you want to drive but it took me about a half an hour to get down here yeah, it's getting it's even more beautiful especially once you get past that flat terrain the desert terrain down there you get up here it just especially this it's later in the afternoon now so yeah, the sun is catching those hills. It's just beautiful. And they have had some rain, so everything has that green hue to it. It's just so beautiful. All right, we're getting down closer to the water. Yeah, here's, uh, here's a little gazebo here for some picnic time if you want. And <laughs> there's a restroom. Looks a little scary. Don't know if it's even workable working but and it looks like some people down here taking advantage of the nice day turned in to be but just right down here to the right is the uh, the boat ramp so I thought we'd come down here real quick take a look yeah it just it doesn't look too low to me must have maybe with the rains they've had recently Interesting. There's somebody down here. They might be fishing. I don't see a trailer hooked up to it. Probably just, uh, yeah, come down here, turn around. I don't want to. I don't think I can. Yeah, it looks like they might be. I don't see them. Maybe they're fishing down there. I don't want to disturb them. But anyways, there's the boat ramp. All right, well, I think we'll head back up to the top here. Uh, stretch my legs a little bit walk around see if we can get a good view uh, maybe we'll walk around that uh, scary looking bathroom area yeah it was pretty graffitied up so I definitely won't be camping in this part of the uh, the lake I'm gonna be up a little bit but uh, yeah just come up here we'll park but I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the dam Hopefully, uh, I'll find a camp spot up there. Yeah, look at that. That place looks scary. <laughs> All right, let me get parked and uh, see if I can walk around a little bit. Wow, what 
it turned into a beautiful day compared to what it was 45 minutes ago up on the mesa a little bit of a breeze but boy it turned into a perfect weather excited might get to fly my drone <laughs> but uh here's a see if i can get a better view from up here Ooh, there's some trash there but little yeah it's hard still hard to see the boat ramp from here that's off in the distance of where the dam actually is Yeah, a little bit breezy every once in a while, but it's probably 60 degrees. Man, it's going to clear up, and I do hope to maybe get some uh, Milky Way pictures tonight. Some star trails a bit closer down there. If they uh, actually predicted the weather right, I'll have a really good chance of doing that. Anyways, let's go check out this other side of the road. So you can, get a, you can get a better idea of how big this lake really is. No cars coming. All right, there you go. There's your view of 19,500 acres of water. Let's see if we can get another view down here. Well, a little bit of trash on the ground here. I don't know if that's from the wind we just had earlier today. But anyways, water is beautiful blue. It's up a little bit more than it was last year. And partly cloudy sky. Wow. Yep. Well, let's, uh, I'm going to head back to the truck. But on the way, we'll take a quick little... <laughs> yeah, this is not a very... Very nice area here. It's trash everywhere. It's beautiful land around here. But it's kind of disappointing to see. Some trash everywhere here. From what I hear, uh, I'd never camped here, but I had family that would come down here and camp all the time. And they, they haven't camped here in a while. So. Well... Just one more look at this side of the lake towards the dam. Yeah, it gets better. It gets better down there. Not as yeah, that's the area where the dam is over there. Anyways, let's. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the truck and then we'll uh, head head over to the dam. Sweet Arizona, sweet as I had ever seen. Listening to Rolling Stones and rolling in the deep. La la la, la la la, la la la. Drove out to Malibu, got lost along the way. Wound up in Mexico and thought we'd never stay. Now, see how beautiful it is up here? But uh, this old building here, I'm not sure what it was before, but it's old and abandoned. So I thought we might stop, take a quick little walk around here. Maybe they just sold some supplies or something like that out of here. But anyway, let me get parked and we'll take a quick walk around here. Yep, just like the, the restroom. It is graffitied up. Roof's all caved in. But still, I, I like this kind of thing, just looking at these old buildings and not knowing what they were. Maybe it was just say an old store maybe it's just up to your imagination what it could have been if somebody does know what it was been here back in the day i'd be really interested in uh, knowing what this was i'm sure other people would be interested too it's colorful <laughs> pretty colorful in here there's actually some pretty good art i wonder what's over here on the back side I don't know, it's just, it is beautiful and just the, uh, when you, when you take into context, let me get a better look out here, you get a, the, how beautiful it is that the, the, round, the surrounding area is just so beautiful and then you have an old abandoned building in decay. I like that contrast, the color contrast and the, uh, 
the overall context of everything. Not so colorful back here. Walking around back here, I, I kind of noticed this. With the, as the rains come down, it uh, starts washing out right here. Check out that. It's like an old pole. <laughs> Looks like that Choya cactus is holding up this old pole. Yeah, it's just a, the illusion of it. That's pretty funny. But anyways, as this uh, the water runs down, take a look at this. It's starting to flow down and... Uh, it eventually this will cover all this this up but anyways yeah here's the other side there's a storage or something back here doesn't look like it was a house of any kind but anyways i think i'm gonna head back to the truck and uh make my way back up to the dam Another thing to point out is uh, this road, it, it does, it's like a old asphalt that's starting to fall apart. So it's a little bit rough that way, but you can definitely make it up here. No problem in any type of car. You just got to drive a little bit slower because you can see how tore up it is in here. Well, getting closer to the mountains. <laughs> Slow down and get past this rough area here. And you can see the swirls are starting to uh, make an appearance again up here. In this type of this time of year when it's after rains, all these swirls are all fat and happy. Lots of choy is up here too. I've got a really cool picture from last year. There's a boat launch road. If I go, oh, it looks like there's a primitive boat launch to the left there some camping area maybe no uh, just a boat launch maybe I'll have to come back down there see if that's someplace I can camp but anyways um, yeah a lot of choyas coming up here and I have a, a really cool picture it's like a forest of choyas with some maybe there's maybe this is a place I can camp here that's interesting if I can get back there Anyways, I gotta get up to the dam. And back to my picture, my story about the picture of the Choyas. See if I can dig it up and uh, while I'm editing this and uh, show you what that was like. I thought that was cool because I personally, I have never seen so many Choyas condensed together like that. Now this looks to the left here. Maybe this is someplace I can sneak off a little bit down the road and uh, camp. I will definitely be coming back to that area to check that out. But the uh, the dam is just right up here. Sorry about that glare. I know we're heading right into the sun, but you can see the sun's starting to get a little bit low. It's getting later in the afternoon. Mountains are getting some shade on the road that's nice but you can see the dam right up here this little pull out area we'll come back here on our way back um, but yeah you can see the dam just right up ahead it was uh, built between 1924 and 1928 and it was uh, dedicated by Calvin Coolidge President Calvin Coolidge in 1930. I like these old dams like this because they put a lot more effort into the, the, the small details. Drive across this. Look at these two entryway lights. And when I get to the other side, I think I'll park and then walk across. Show you a little bit more of the detail. And you can see they've added this uh, fence, fencing along the top. Probably for safety reasons, I'm sure. But yeah, just look at look at the side panels, and uh, unfortunately, I can't walk out. There's some little walkways that go off out into the water. Looks like they're closed up. 
but I was here last year and uh, I got some really neat pictures out here and uh, tonight I want to get some Milky Way pictures so. You can kind of see what I mean by the cool architecture. See if I can reach over this fence, get a view from up here. But I like the way these domes are. They're, they're convex out here. And uh, you can see in that drone footage that they're concave on the other side. Just a, It's a neat feature. And just below us here to the left, that's a, that's a major overflow. So if this thing really fills up, that's their overflow huge <laughs> some huge gates that don't go down there but uh, yeah take a look at this it's just the, the detail that they they put into this and I don't know if that had electricity and that light up there probably in the 20s but I know that this did produce they had a, a, a diesel generator down at the bottom on the, the river side of this dam. But I just love the architecture, how much detail they put into there. Take a quick look at this side over here. You can see the water. They have had some rains recently, so still some puddles standing. That would have been, I wish I could have seen this back in the day when the, the lights were working. Nah, I can't see over there too well. Check out the, the chicken wire on the, uh, so I can reach through here, Let's see if you can get another view. Yeah, you can kind of see that's more of the overflow there. Man, imagine if, back in 93, when those big rains hit, I guess they really had to release a lot, release a lot of water. It's a big, huge, like, 100 year flood hit. They had to release a lot of water. Check out just the detail that they put. And that's all poured concrete. That's not stucco. Very interesting. Let's see if I can squeeze through here and show you. One thing I, I really, really like about this is you can see that part that juts out from the edge. The, the detail of that eagle, the spread wings. And check out that, uh, there's a ladder going down, all the way down the bottom there. And there's the water flowing through. That's where the uh, diesel generator was. Uh, it doesn't work anymore, from what I've read. But yeah, just that's what I mean about the detail on these old structures that they put into those. Now this one is seeing some uh, so cool oh, sorry distracted by a spider web <laughs> right time of the day that would be a neat picture but yeah the detail that they they put into these it's like the old bridge at the Salt River Canyon I just that's the kind of thing that I, I really like so here's another view squeeze through here Another view of the eagle. 
spreading its wings. See the other view of the water flowing through. Looks like it's flowing pretty good. And I've read that the, the lake is it's low quite a bit, uh, except for when it rains. So that's probably why it's high now. Is it's uh, with the rains, it's filled up some. There was a, a funny story. Look how beautiful it is down that canyon. Right time of the day, too. But there was a, a funny story about this. When, uh, when it was being dedicated, uh, there, the lake, the dam hadn't, the, the lake hasn't been, hadn't been filling up yet. So it was all just a grassy area. So uh, the humorous Will Rogers said, uh, <laughs> when he saw the grass out there, he's like, if this was my lake, I'd mow it. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, stairs down to somewhere. Can't, uh, I wonder where that went down. Hmm, I don't know. But this is, you can see if I can show you through here. Yeah, squeeze through here. Yep. You can see it's starting to uh, see it's weathered a little bit. The surface is cracking. Some moss growing there too. Just adds to the character. Just adds to the character. There's another area I was going to show you where they have. You can see it's weathering a little bit here. But you have that right next to uh, these, these beautiful decorations on the, these panels, these wall panels. And I thought that was kind of neat. That adds to the charm of this dam. Oh, cool. Here's uh, here's some more stairs going down into the, <laughs> the bowels of the dam. Well, that would be neat if you'd be able to get down in there. Hmm. How many people walk down those stairs? Probably for maintenance. But yeah. See if I can't. We're trying to make my way over to this... Uh, this other entrance, there is a, a plaque over here that I wanted to see. Here's a view looking out over those domes again. That's a, that's a clever design, using those domes like that. I mean, using the force of an arc against itself. Hmm, that's, oh, check out, there's cactus down there on those gates I was looking at this they have this I noticed on the other side of the dam too they have this chicken wire to keep the rocks from falling the trees are getting all entangled in it growing into it they're trapped <laughs> see if I can show you get a little bit closer here and there's a plaque here that kind of describes uh, details about the dam United States of America, Calvin Coolidge. That's just some of the people that were in charge, did the work, the personnel. And then uh, down below just kind of tells you some of the, let's see if I can get in a little bit closer. Dates 1928. What does that say? Yeah, October 25th, 1928. It was completed. Wow. But they didn't open it. They didn't dedicate it till 1930. But anyways, I think uh, look at all the water standing here from the rains. Yeah, I think I'm going to just walk back, get to the truck. I'll maybe go up the road just a little bit and look at the lake again. But I want to stop at that little uh, pullout area. And then I still have to... Uh, find some place to camp tonight so uh, the fun of trying to find some place to camp you've never been to before <laughs> love it I just love that 
Anyways, I'll meet you back at the truck. One more look at these uh, entryway pillars. Well, wish they still had the uh, the, the um, shades, the lamp shades still on them. Probably long gone. But anyways, I wanted to maybe just walk up just a little bit up the road, get another view of this lake. Here's another good view of the lake. Partly cloudy skies. Check that out. But yeah, out there somewhere is a camp that Geronimo used when he was fighting with the cavalry. And also out there, caused a little bit of controversy, is a burial ground. They didn't know what to do. They asked maybe if they wanted to inter, inter them, but that would have been desecration. So they decided not to do that and ended up just putting a, a large slab over them. That was the agreement they made. All right, well, I think I'm going to head back to the truck. I do want to stop at that other little spot before I have to go find a campground. So I'm going to head back to the truck, and uh, we'll see you over there. This is a uh, cool little spot. Like a lot of things over here, there's there's some graffiti. But I can imagine back in the day, coming here, it had a big uh, top, or I guess it'd be a big roof over it. You can kind of see right there where the post for it were. There's one there, one in the corner over there. It's still part of the log inside of that. Cool little picnic tables. It's all this, I like the rock the rock walls too that they have great view of the lake sitting here getting some uh, lunch relaxing this this corner feature is is pretty neat something i noticed is um right there's it there had a water fountain feature in it get a closer look here you can kind of see where the water spout came up. I think that was a water fountain. <laughs> maybe maybe it was just something to, to get some water to drink. Uh, nah, probably a water fountain, huh? But yeah, you can see the dam over there. It's a nice view of the dam. And in this corner over here was another picnic table. This might be a good spot to get a Milky Way picture from. Yeah, I'll come back tonight, or early, early in the morning. And check this post. There's another post sticking out over here. Is that thing loose? Let me see if that thing, <laughs> so I can shake it. Nope. Nah, it's embedded in there still. But yeah, I think maybe if I can come back probably like 3.30 in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Milky Way would probably rise right over the top of that mountain. See if I can get that dam and that mountain in it. I think that'll be pretty neat. But I wanted to show you something. Last year when I was here, I, got, I was here for sunrise. And uh, I guess it was probably from right, right around this area. I got a great picture. I really like it. Probably one of my favorites is that nice sunrise. And then I had a little bit of light painting, shine a little light on that corner. But now I have got to go find some place to stay the night. Hopefully I can find some place close. Yay, I found one. And it's a pretty good one too. Nice little flat area off the beaten path. A great view. Check out that lake, great view of the lake. That's the uh, the mountain. The dam is just on the other side of that hill. So I found a place pretty close, just like I was hoping. Wow. I think this would be a good place maybe for some star trail pictures. And then uh, I'll wake up early in the morning and head over to that spot and try and get a Milky Way picture. Wow, it is peaceful. 
can hear the chir the crickets chirping. Well, all right. Well, I think I'm just going to set up camp a little bit, get sleeping bag, everything ready to go, and get the camera set up. See if I can't get some some pictures. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, last night after I got set up started getting the camera out it cleared up and i'm happy to say they got the weather predicted right look how clear it is what a difference a day makes huh not a cloud in the sky right now this is the road off to peridot mesa again and uh, you can see here sign letting you know you got to get a permit to be out here but yeah last night i was uh, i got a a Star Trail picture, pretty happy with. And then, uh, yeah, I woke up this morning and it was still crystal clear. Three, about 2.30 in the morning I woke up, headed over by that dam. And uh, that's what I enjoy doing. Got a Milky Way picture. Pretty happy with that one as well. Heck yeah, look at this weather. We're just about to the top. And I'm just going to go straight over. I don't plan on stopping when we get up here. I, just, I have a little spot that I like to go to. I found it last year. And it's a great view of the, of the edge of the mesa. See, this early in the morning, it's going to be really good with the shadows. Yeah, this is the, the top of the hill. And then from here, you just kind of work your way down to the top of the mesa. Boy, that sun is bright, huh? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we'll just come up here, take a left, and you get a good view. Good view of the mesa down below. So from up here, we will work our way down to the mesa. And there are trails, or, or yeah, road, trails for to drive on down here. They kind of zigzag across. So they're pretty easy to follow. There's some that are more heavily used, and then there's some that uh, grass grows over a little bit. But I found a place, we'll work our way over there first. Last year, it's kind of off the main trail a little bit, but it is a beautiful place to be, especially this early in the morning. Kind of excited to see what it looks like over there. And that'll give me a l little bit of time get the, the sun to come up and let these flowers get their coffee and wake up a little bit so they can show their their full color all right so we're just about there and it, this is kind of a, like a little kind of like a peninsula where it goes into a little a point so you can see the edge of the mesa and with all the little valleys running down that's eroded over the years so you'll get a good view So off in the distance, you can see the town of Peridot. It's an old mining town, early 1900s. Um, they, look at that view right there. That's, that's the money shot right there. But yet, uh, Peridot, uh, they actually mined the Peridot mineral. But uh, check out that view. Somewhere out there are some horses. At least there were last year. And I think that's where a lot of these roads are from is the... The ranchers use it up here. And you can see off in the distance, that's the hill that we came over. And the flowers are getting some color now that sun's up. But most of the people will stay over on that side of the hill to look at the flowers. They don't, not too many people come down the mesa and drive around. And that's the direction of Coolidge Dam that we were at. And you can see the reservoir way off in the distance. 
just look at the green hue from all the rains they've had desert beautiful desert all right well here's a, a good view from uh you can see those crevices in that the edge of that mesa and that's why i like this spot it's just for that view well i can see that it's um i think i was spoiled from last year it was a super bloom last year um but yeah i have some i have a, some drone footage from the same area from last year and it shows it looks like lava flowing down that hill it was so orange i'm gonna i'm gonna add that drone footage i'm gonna dig that up and show it to you guys so yeah this is back as super bloom looks like here looks like lava just flowing off the edges here that's just amazing so yeah i was spoiled from last year coming out look at that it's just fields and even up on the mesa you can see the the orange flowers all right well i think i'm gonna head over to the mesa and see if i can't find the horses and cows Hopefully they're still there. And then by then the sun should be up long enough that we can head over the top of that hill again and go over to where the the better flowers are for the spring bloom. Well, it looks like I found them. <laughs> they're almost in the same spot as they were last year, so it must be I don't there's no corrals or anything up here, but it must be that they're that's where they get fed. Yeah, I don't know how much they need to be fed with all this vegetation up here now looks like they're just chilling though You can see there there's some patchy areas of these the yellow flowers I'm not sure what they're called but yeah it's pretty nice just driving just relaxing listening to a little bit of music driving on top of the Mesa enjoying the, the beautiful scenery Here's a couple of people checking out some of the flowers. One thing I do notice are some of the locals, they use this as a jogging trail. I've seen them, each time I've been here, I've seen people jogging. Now, so last time I was here, as soon as I topped this hill, there was a ton of people over here. But I don't think that's going to happen this year. Wow, we might even be by ourselves this year. It's, I don't know, it's probably 10.30 in the morning. I would have expected more people to be up here, but maybe words got out. It's not a, a super bloom. But I would imagine there are some, uh, there will be some more people up here a little bit later this afternoon. All right. Well, here's a jogger. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm going to stop here stretch my legs a little bit and see if I can't show you some of the better this is the better side for sure with all the flowers you check this out see all along that hill there's more and this is normally there will be cars parked along along the side of the road people walking all through these hills trying to get good pictures and just enjoying the scenery. This looks nice with those orange flowers and then the, the sagebrush with that aqua tint to it. That's pretty. And the bluer sky, nice contrast up there. And probably about noon, one o'clock at the, the peak heat. It's probably a little bit better than this, but still this is just, it's beautiful right now fields of these desert poppies
I like these cactus up on this hill and then you have these desert poppies in the foreground here some try and find some sort of picture in here something similar to this but I don't know yeah stroll up here a little bit farther this is just wow it's just I'm all by myself it's just how beautiful this is but anyways there's a there's a cactus that I wanted to go get some maybe try and get a picture of this guy right here that thing has got to be hundreds and hundreds of years old look at all those arms I'm trying to pick a path through here so I'm not stepping on any of uh, these flowers but you can see where people have walked through here before and you can uh, just follow that trail leave the the nice flowers for the next people coming yeah there's got to be a picture here somewhere I want to try and isolate that maybe get a little bit lower like this with that cactus sticking above the horizon and the flowers in the the foreground yeah there's got to be a there's got to be a picture in here And over here, this is another good picture, I think. We have all these diagonals on the hill beyond. And then these flowers in the, uh, the foreground. Get some of these rocks. How pretty is that? All right, well, I think that's about all there is to see this year. The truck's just right there. Yeah, so if you're ever near Globe, we're about 30 minutes, about 30 minutes from Globe, and if you're in the springtime in the desert, this is definitely a, a place to come see. And then also we have the, the Coolidge Dam, about a half an hour from here. That's a neat little, neat little dam to go check out too. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that I have, and uh, I think I'm going to sign off. And just remember, never say goodbye, always see you later.